Welcome to Istanbul Airport. Conceived as the largest airport in the world and built from the ground up in just 42 months by more than 40,000 people, Istanbul Airport is a vast and stunning showpiece in civil engineering. It covers an area of 76.5 million square meters that includes its own power plants, water treatment and waste facilities, hotel, restaurants, commercial areas, shops, and parking for 500 aircraft and 70,000 vehicles. It's fair to say that it's not just an airport, it's truly a city within a city. With 165 aircraft bridges, two interconnected terminals, eight ramp control towers serving more than 100 airlines, 300 destinations, and capacity for 150 million passengers, Istanbul Airport will be one of the most important international air transportation hubs in the world. So what will it take to deliver the ultimate passenger experience at the world's largest airport? Naturally, ease, efficiency, convenience, speed and comfort are high priorities. So too is safety and security. But at its heart, it takes dozens of finely honed teams communicating reliably and instantly at the push of a button to bring it all together. Enabled by an exceptional and future-proof radio communication system, in this case a unique single-site trunked 64-channel voice and data-enabled system. With a capacity for more than 10,000 users in 250 groups across an indoor and outdoor coverage area in excess of 76.5 million square meters. Welcome to the world of Istanbul Airport. Welcome to the world of Kenwood Nexus second generation. When it came to the specification for all the mechanical and electrical systems at the airport, Sir Han Uchak, IGA's electronic systems manager, faced the challenge of not only meeting requirements for day one of operations at the airport, but also for anticipating how the radio communication system would build out with thousands of additional users in the future. Two things are critical actually. Airplane and the radio. In the airport, that's all you need actually. Okay, if the radio doesn't work, entire system shut down. Nothing works, including the ambulance, firefighting, airplanes communications. Without it, this airport stops running. Just the closed area in this airport is around like five million square meter closed area we gather. And we got third party buildings, we got ATC tower, we got service roads, and then we got the ports, fuel farms. So all had to be covered up with a system. Coverage was critical for us. And the most importantly, the 64 channels in a single site, because this has never been tried before. We had limited budget, but we also wanted the best, including all the futures, to make sure that the system is gonna run another five, 10 years actually, and able to control 10,000 users we never actually give up on any qualities. We requested the best standards and I believe we received the best standards. But so far we, we were able to achieve anything we want with Camut. There are many criteria. Choosing a right company is one of them, of course, if they are able to show up in the project whenever we need them actually. Technical solutions when we need it, do they have the really technical team? Is it a sustainable company that we think couple years is going to disappear or not? Spare parts? Of course, definitely this is all important because radio critical communication will be one of the top notch of this project. It can't fail. We have to make sure it's running constantly. So this company should be capable of giving those services to us when we require it. Yes, it is software side, must be strong. This is what we requested in our specs as well. I said we needed the best. So far we are able to achieve it now. GPS system, voice recording, all of them is coming along. And for the dispatching consoles also, the software must be useful. Because for the maintenance purposes, for the critical communication and handling all those communications, we had to do, uh, we have to have a, a great software. What makes me proud is definitely this airport. This is the largest in the world and I'm part of it. Ensuring 100% availability of the NextEdge radio communications devices and its supporting infrastructure 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, is Bilal Yildiz, an expert in radio communications technologies. Actually, the radio communication system is very important for the, all of the airports. That airport is the largest airport in the world. That's why the radio communication is too much important for the, all of the users in that airport. Because we are talking about mission critical operation. So we are managing all of the airports and there are ground services companies, airline companies. So all of the companies must be coordination. So the radio system is a very important part of that airport. 
the coverage is first priority for us. And then all of the ground service companies and IGA and our maintenance teams are uh, using that radio systems. So yeah, the first coverage and then communication groups number. And we installed just single site, 64 channel, and all of the users in same location, same systems. It is very important for us. We are changing the rules in that airport. So for the radio systems also, we changed the standard procedure and limits. I feel comfortable because I know Kenwood and also Kenwood know too much detail about airport business because Kenwood have too much experience in airport business. So they can understand easily us what we are requesting from them. That's why we are sure about Kenwood and we know the uh, Japanese culture and Japanese understanding reliability and say after sales support and engineering support is too too important for us the man responsible for delivering airside safety and efficiency at the largest and best equipped airport in the world is Ozan Karakish airside operations director of IGA so the perimeter fence is roughly about 50 kilometers in length uh, it takes almost an hour to circulate inside the perimeter fence on the service road. At this size of operation, you have lots of different response forces coming from many different places. So communication is, I think, the most important thing that we have in the center of everything. When crisis happens, without communication, everything will stop. But when you come to daily, hourly operation, it's not something that we have, ah, we can live with less communication. The operation cannot continue without communication. And radio, of course, is what we have in the center of everything. The coverage of Kenwood Next Gen is superb in this airport because regardless where you are, be in the basement or be on the runway, you have the same reception. The most important thing at my level of operation is uninterrupted communication. And we, today we have uninterrupted communication around the clock. I have crews, fire rescue crews, responding to a fire in the basement. But fire crew where we are sitting now, four kilometers away from them, just next to a runway, should hear them to understand what are their exact needs so we can dispatch most optimized response force from this fire station to terminal. So um, we have equal reception and um, I think Kenwood Next Gen is the solution that, that makes it possible. Avrazia Habalishme Group was awarded the contract for delivering the operations critical, trunked, second generation Kenwood system at the airport, including all equipment, software and application solutions. The 64-channel single-site system is unique to the airport and the first of its kind in the world. It employs 6.25 kHz narrowband FDMA digital technology and the proven scalable NXDN air interface. The system is supported by Kenwood's CAS20 AVL and dispatch software suite and additional applications to enable seamless connectivity, interoperability and collaboration between the numerous businesses and operational functions at the airport. Istanbul Airport, a city within a city at the intersection of Europe and Asia, and now a new gateway to the world. Kenwood.